Hello, this is Richard, and uh, I'm here to talk about um, what uh, the the reasons why I feel a better health is for a better person. You know, um, like for for an example, what what I've noticed in myself and on other people is that when when you miss a lunch or a dinner or when you miss eating, when you miss a meal in the day, you feel a little down. But when you start to put something in your body, it starts to pick you up. Now, isn't that within itself, isn't that an indication of the truth that if even if you just eat bread or things that have, you know, um, unhealthy preservatives in it, it's, it helps to make you feel better. It peps you up a little bit. Now, imagine if you actually ate something that was nutritious something that actually had some uh, health value to it imagine that that would be like um, that would that would help the human race even more because it's like um, I, I, I want to get into something that I've been thinking about for a while and the reason why a lot of there, there's a lot of conflicts the reason why there's a lot of uh, um, hardship and miscommunication and uh, unhappiness in individuals lives is is it's it's a complex thing but it's this is one of the reasons why the human race and the US is suffering from what I call the uh, um, the thorn in the paw syndrome the lion with the with the thorn in its paw it's the thorn in the paw syndrome and what I'm trying to get at is that um you ever heard that story as a kid where there's like this lion in the jungle and all the other animals are like afraid of that lion you know he's he's what he's walking around in circles he's moaning he's groaning he's growling he's very upset he's discomfort he's um he seems angry he seems scary he scares the animals until one day this mouse comes around and realizes that the lion has a thorn in its paw and that's what's causing the discomfort in the in the lion and so the mouse comes along and says hey um, I can help you I can help you to feel better let me let me um let me assist that, that thorn from your paw. It'll make you feel better. And the lion says, no, 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 it's going to hurt. It's going to hurt. No, just leave me alone. Just leave me alone. And he, 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 you know, he gets a little bit aggressive toward the mouse. But then the mouse tells him, reassures him, hey, let me remove it. The mouse removes the thorn, giving a little bit of pain to the lion. But then the lion, all of a sudden the lion becomes happy and, and thanks the mouse and becomes joyful. And the discomfort is gone. And, and the... And the and the and the lion is um, back to normal and is not pacing and not growling, and the other animals they pop their heads up from behind the the trees and the and the and the and the leaves and all that, and they're like, hey, hey, the lion is actually very nice, you know. And they come and 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 the lion be in, the animals around start to realize that it wasn't the lion that was mean; it was the thorn in the paw that was causing the discomfort. What's going on in the world in in America is the is the thorn in the paw syndrome uh, what we eat is the thorn the unhealthy things that we eat and we put in our bodies is the thorn that's causing the discomfort and the and the um, anger and the confusion and the um, and the pain in our lives and the miscommunication of others around us you know it's what it's what makes people feel as though we're weird or we're uh, upset or constantly upset constantly in discomfort com constantly in dis-ease remember dis-ease is not a, a virus it's dis-ease like ease on out ease it's a dis-ease you're dis-ease you're not relaxed you're not you're not uh, feeling good dis-ease that's what disease means you know and the uh, the world and America is the thorn we we are in a thorn in the paw syndrome. Everybody has a thorn in the paw syndrome. We eat disgusting, polluted food that's making our bodies become discomfort. That's creating us to become discomfort and angry and upset and pacing, just like the lion. The lion had the thorn in the paw causing that discomfort, and the thorn is the food that we eat. We have the thorn in the paw syndrome. And it's causing us to become upset and become sad and become uh, sick. 
and to miscommunicate from each other you know like your friend wakes up every morning and goes to work you work with them but sometimes he's happy some days and he's angry some days that's the thorn in the paw syndrome he doesn't want to be that way it's because he's unhealthy he might I mean, there might be some other issues like with his girlfriend or his family but all in all those family members and that girlfriend might also be suffering from the thorn in the paw syndrome too and remember it's the same thing as a lion the thorn for example in, in the human, in, in our reality, is the food that we eat. And the paw is our body, you know. Like, it, it's causing discomfort. It's causing uh, the pacing. And everybody around us, everybody gets uh, the bad signals from each other. Oh, that guy's bad. Oh, well, you know, like, I'm not feeling good. You know, I go to work all the time. They might think I'm bad because I don't feel good. But it's a thorn in the paw syndrome. When we start eating right, when we remove that bad, when we remove that thorns, the thorns being the the preservatives and the and the and the smoking cigarettes and the too much alcohol we, we remove those thorns those bad pollutions in our life and our lives and our and our bodies we become happy like the lion we become uh joyful we become clear-minded just like the lion when he got the paw the the thorn pulled out from the paw everything became better for him and that's why there's a lot of problems that's why there's gangs and things like that and that's why even the government is unhealthy even the government's making bad decisions for the citizens because they're unhealthy, they're unhappy. It causes, uh, you know, um, it, it's a very complex thing. Jealousy. Why do we have jealousy of other people? You know, we have jealousy of other people because they can achieve things, but because they're healthy in some way, their genes had a healthy kind of thing going on and they're born with it. They're able to do different things more better than us. But if we got healthy, our bodies will be pushed to the upper limits of its capabilities, allowing us to think more and become more better at math and reading and writing and being able to um, run faster and jump higher and just to be happy. We observe other people, we observe situations and people around us and we, ob and we observe them and we focus on them because we're unhealthy. We're unhealthy. When we're unhealthy, we focus on things to try to make us healthy. We focus on other people, other people's problems, to try to find something to make us stimulated. We become jealous because we're unhappy. We're unhappy because we don't eat right. And we have and, and, and we have the thorn in the paw causing us to be unhappy. The thorn being the bad foods that we eat. People don't realize it, but jealousy and um and anger and uh, coveting people's things and wives or whatever it's all coming because when you eat healthy you become your own stimulation you become self-reliant on your own happiness and your own existence instead of pondering and dwelling on other people's situations you're you become one with yourself we're so unhealthy we everyone has a thorn in the paw you know, we're trying to ignore the thorn in the paw, which is the pollutions in our body. We're trying to find something to make us feel better because we have so much pollution in our in our bodies. And like the this is like an example. The lion could have been lived could have lived with the paw, the thorn in the paw for months or even years, depending on how deep the thorn is. This is an example. And the lion would then have to ignore it, live with it, live with the thorn in the paw, and try to find Try to uh um to divert the uh, the the thought of the pain of the thorn in the paw to to divert that into other situations, to ignore it and divert his attention from this to other things. And what we're doing as human beings is we're diverting our, our our unhealthiness and trying to divert our thoughts on ourselves because we're unhealthy and unhappy, and we're unhappy because we're unhealthy. And we're trying to divert from that our attention from our, ourselves and trying to look for other things to kind of stimulate us and and try to uh, bring happiness and try just try to just just to just to get away mentally. That's where jealousy comes from. When you become one with yourself, when you start to eat healthy, you become more reliant on thinking for yourself, paying attention to and for yourself. You start to become more relaxed. You start to become more, more sound. You start to focus less on worrying about others because your thorn, the, the pollutions in your body, goes away. 
and you're getting rid of that thorn and now you can relax and now you can focus on being more wholesome and being more content of what you have and who you are and that's where jealousy comes from that's where coveting comes from because of because of being unhealthy now this is another example I remember this might sound kind of silly but I remember when I uh ate a piece of xylitol gum that xylitol gum alone it made me feel so good it made me feel so relaxed it made me feel so so peaceful it made me feel like I was one it's strange to say like a piece of gum or the xylitol sugar can do that but I have the bag of sugar whenever I put it in my mouth and I eat it and you know uh, uh, it's for my teeth and everything but it's also helps to make you feel positive that sugar alone did all that people don't notice that because they're diverted too much in situations surrounding them but when they focus on their temple their mind and their body and when they eat things that food is going to be enough entertainment for their existence they don't even need to go watch movies they don't need to read books because your temple is going to be clean and you're going to be focused on your temple that's how people become happy the government is unhealthy they cause discomfort to us because they're unhealthy they're unhappy and they're trying to kind of get something from us they're trying to make us feel bad the citizens of america the citizens of the world or whatever but once they become healthy once they, we change their minds everyone becomes more sound and more peaceful causing less discomfort to others stop thinking and then we stop we stop thinking about uh um, strange um, illogical thoughts sexually you know we start focusing ourselves start to become I guess almost like asexual in a way you know we can find love if you still want to find love we will become more peaceful changing your health will change the way you live your life and how you look at your life that's the truth but we're so every day of our lives we're eating unhealthy foods every day we smoke cigarettes we uh the foods that we eat, how we cook foods, where how they can the foods, where they bag the foods, where we go to where we go to work, the pollution in the air, uh, the water that we drink, the, the water that we take a shower in, how we communicate, how we communicate to each other, how we interact with each other. It's all caused because of the, the discomfort and the disarrayness of how we eat and, and our environment causes the disarray of the environment of the foods that we eat causes more disarray of the thought process of how we communicate. And how we interact with each other, causing us to cause disruption and cause uh, this just problems. When we organize ourselves, when we eat right, we we become we think clearer. We organize how we think and feel of each other, loving each other, and that's how the world will change in the future. Change your diet, you change your life, change. The